David. Sorry, what? I was asking how work was. Work, yeah, work's good, you know? It's, uh, fine, you know. Are you okay? You look terrible. <laughs> I don't, I look terrible. Yeah, you do. I'm just tired, you know? I'm getting like three hours sleep a night for weeks. Really? I just kind of lay there just thinking about stuff. I think about stuff that happened that day and, 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 and stuff with work and <sighs> just can't turn off my brain. <laughs> well, I might have a few techniques you don't know about. Trust me, Jen, I've tried everything. Have you tried drinking warm milk? Yes. Valerian root? Yes. Hypnotism? Yes. Sleepy stories? Yes. Wait, sleepy what? Oh, it's awesome. You just call them up, place an order, and they come to your house and talk you to sleep. Just told you I already tried hypnotism. No, 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 no. These people are actually so boring that they put you to sleep. I mean, it is like $80, but if you're not asleep in 20 minutes, it's free. Hello, Sleepy Stories. How may I help you? Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, uh, I can't sleep. Well, that's too bad. How long have you been unable to sleep? Uh, three or four weeks now, I guess. I see. Well, sir, I'm gonna send over Bertram. He's one of our more effective tellers. He'll be able to, uh, get you into bed there and, uh, fulfill all your needs. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this, uh, this kind of feels like uh, I'm ordering an escort or something here. <laughs> engage in sexual behavior with any of the tellers. What? No, 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 no. I just mean that I, uh... uh... Sir, I have to ask you to please not have sex with Bertram. I won't. Thank you. Uh, what was that address? Oh, uh, hi. Uh, you Bertram? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's supposed to happen here. But I've never done this before. <sighs> you need anything? Do you want something to drink? Uh, some water or something? Perhaps a juice of the orange or apple variety. Yeah, yeah. I think I got I some remember juice. when I was six. No, I must have been older than that. What year was it? Do you want the juice, or no? It would have been 1988. There was a movie in the theater that I saw. I remember the actor's face. He may have been in that movie with Bertram Lancaster. Who? Sorry, Bert Lancaster. I believe they were soldiers or policemen. Perhaps they owned a farm. They were definitely working towards something. One of them wanted it more than the other. The mother was stern, father more in the caregiver role. Junior had his eyes on the prize. She was a tall woman, maybe six feet. It's hard to tell on the big screen. A cousin of mine may have seen her at an auction. What they were auctioning, I don't know. Something to do with cats, the Civil War. You know, I remember thinking, you paid too much, Devram. A butter churner from that time period goes for half that amount. Anyways, it would have been 1988, if I'm not mistaken, and I came across the body of my best friend.
lock that body. One more, man. You got this. One more, my friend. Yeah. Let's go. Body. Uh, friend. Body. Friend. 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 Body. Friend. And I came across the body of my best friend. Jesus Christ, did he find a dead body? <laughs> And I came across the body of my best friend. And I came across the body of my best friend. And I came across the body of my best friend. And I came across the body of my best friend. And I came across the body of my best friend. Yeah, I'm tired. Uh, listen, I want Bertram. You got me? Okay? Make sure you send Bertram. Come on already. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, Reggie. Hope you're hungry. Hey, you gotta finish that. What the hell is this? I was ready to sleep. Who are you? You're not Bertram. Oddly enough, I am. Well, it's my middle name. You see, my father was a complicated man. Wait, 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 what, what do you mean he doesn't work there anymore? No, no, I need to hear the end of that story, all right? I can't, I can't sleep. It's driving me crazy. Sir, can I get my money? No, 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 I don't want to hear another story, okay? I want to hear about Bertram. I want to hear about Bertram, his friend's dead body, god damn it. Mm. God damn it! Are you sure you're okay, David? You look awful. Yeah, I haven't slept in days. Well, did you try Sleepy Stories? Did I try sleepy stories? Let me think about that for a second. Yeah, 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 I tried sleepy stories, Jen. I tried, and listen, if you, you're my sister, okay? I love you. If you bring up sleepy stories to me one more time, I swear to God, I'm gonna come over to this table, you like a wild monkey, Calm down. all right? I'm gonna drag you down over these stairs. I'm gonna drag you right outside. Son of a bitch. Hey! Hey! Excuse me! Excuse me! Bertram! Bertram. Thank God. I don't know if you remember or not. You were at my house about 10 days ago. You were telling me a sleepy story. I'm pretty sure you said something about finding the body of your best friend. In 1988, Look, I gotta know how the story ends, okay? It's, it's actually been driving me crazy not knowing what happened. It was 1988. My sister, Candicity, had just returned home from college. I remember thinking she would be different. However, she just looked different. Her hair, now in a ponytail, having grown some three inches since the summer. Okay. She was studying political science, but pondered on changing to history. Oddly enough, graduated with a degree in biology. My younger brother would follow in her footsteps. By that I mean he would enter the sciences. Not biology, but rather chemistry. Get to the point. I myself would wear several academic hats. A physics hat, a sociology hat, a, a linguistics hat, a literary hat, well, cap really, and finally a philosophy top hat. First from place. Anyways, it would have been 1988, if I'm not mistaken, 
and I came across the body of my best friend.